Hey guys, this is Peter, and I get questions from a lot of you about rural situations and where you're in the middle of, well, nowhere, and you're trying to pick up a signal. Now, everyone knows about Starlink, but Starlink is rather expensive. Not only do you have a big uh, CapEx, uh, but then you have a big OpEx, so which means every month you have to pay, what, is it almost a hundred bucks a month? And could you do better? Well, so for some of us, you can. Now, I went out and... Uh, set up a tent and went out to one of my favorite beaches. This is an absolutely great spot because there is no one around. Oftentimes when I come out here, my wife complains, hey, you're off grid. We can't find you. So this is this is where we are. I brought my Elsa's out and plugged this in. This is a, well, this is a, a 5G solution. It's 4G, 5G, 3G. You put your SIM card in here and it will reach for the internet. So as you can see, this beach is quite desolate. There is not a lot here, except for the waves. Uh, yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful spot. But wouldn't it be better if it had the internet? You know, when you want to go camping with your kids, you're not going to be able to get them to go out with you unless you have some internet. So this would be perfect. Here's the Elsus unit. And as you could see, well, maybe you could see, there we go. I am picking up T-Mobile. Now this happens to be B66, but that's a really good band for 4G. And I'm picking up with 79% strength. Here's how you do it. Hear that beeping? It's because I pushed a button on the bottom and I just, as I turn it, it went down. So I put it back. It's just like finding it with a metal detector. And look, I was getting some decent down speed. So 87 is not a bad score. But look, my up speed was not great and my ping was pretty bad. I'm trying to reach quite uh, quite the distance. So what I did is I moved it up onto this uh, shelf up there, try to get some more height and a slightly better angle. There it is. I had screwed it to a piece of driftwood. There it is, way up on the cliff. But my cable's 50 foot, so it wasn't a problem. There it is, looking straight across the bay way across the bay and look i got a whole different band download speeds a little bit funky but that upload speed was great this is all i had this battery ran those two things and look it's not even using any power it's not even registering as power for both my router and the power over ethernet injector that runs this modem so that's just great this is a great spot but i didn't get any more testing because i couldn't figure out what was going on but here it is I found it when I got home. Two pieces of sand got in my ethernet cable. So I'm gonna to have to go back out there and I will. And I now wanna to go to a number of other places, but look, I am in the middle of a rural area. I've been here been many times before. This is a great looking spot, but uh, there's not a lot out here. Welcome to farmland. Yeah, this is uh, pretty desolate. And I was reaching across the bay cause I have those cliffs uh, blocking me from anything that's behind me. So I was reaching across the bay and I'm interested to find out where those bands came from, but uh, you know, we'll take a look. Hey, I did want to give you a, a look at this page. This is, uh, well, where you can get it. This is Haven Technologies and this is the Elsless Amplimax. I like buying it from this guy um, because this is Richard at Haven Technologies and you definitely want an authorized reseller you get somebody that you can call in the United States that can help you with this. He's an expert. Absolutely recommend it. I did check with the manufacturer and said, is there any deals coming? And they said, no, this is the price that was the best we can do at this point. This is one neat unit. If you think about the price of a 4x4 MIMO, a directional 4x4 MIMO, a good one, and a good radio, this is much cheaper. So yeah, I realize you might go, geez, that's a lot of money. But compared to Starlink, I can use my $40 a month or $50 a month T-Mobile account and well, just use it all I want. This is the sunk cost. Does everyone need this? No, but if you do need a solution to get better internet, uh, well then this, this may be exactly what you're looking for. This is one cool unit, guys. Comes with almost everything you need. The power over ethernet injector. So the cable to connect it to your, your access point. And you just plug it in here. 
and then you plug here with a nice long cable, I guess I had them backwards, take the nice long cable and go to this unit. You can go, this is a 50 foot cable, but you can go up to 300 feet. And this is the power that goes into this thing. That's the one you saw plugged in. Uh, I actually screwed this to a log. That's the wall connector. And I didn't use these two for this installation. Neat unit, so simple to set up. I think you're gonna like it. I'm, I'm gonna do a lot more with this one. This right now is the best modem antenna thing going. Anyway guys, hey, thanks so much. Have a great holiday. See you in the next one.